Hello and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are all well and enjoying your day. So we're working on this bad boy here, which is the 1951 Holden FX Coupe Utility. Um, and it's made by the modder of the name Gollywog. Um, I've covered at least one of his mods before. And it was not a bad mod, it wasn't a great mod I don't think, but Anyhow, let's, uh, again, let's have a look at what the stats of it is at the moment. Uh, this was a barn find when I got this. I remember it. Um, some of it is in pretty good nick already. So this turning this round is going to be pretty good. Because I've only got one of these, I believe. I'm probably going to keep this one. Let's start taking the body panels off. Let's get the all-important battery out first. This is one in it. So we really do some checks, but we know some of these checks might not work. Has it got a battery in it? Is it in the back? Don't see one. It's jumping out at me or not? Let's do some checks. I hope this thing won't crash in the middle of doing these checks. I know, um, I won't do that. Let me do that check. Look. Fuel flow check, and we did that. Nope, oh, missing those parts. Seems legit. Did the tire check. There's it, the Bagoni. Um, DLC's out now. I'm not going to bother that because I'm not a big fan of Bagonis. Um, anyway, all the time I'm so tired. It'll tell me if the battery's in here or not. I can't see it. It's not jumping out at me. It doesn't come up with a battery on here, so I'm wondering if this thing even has a battery in it. But it's still removing all the bits out of the way anyway. Kind of reminds me of Morris Minor. Weird dinner. It's one bit gone. Um, can we remove the seats now? We know it's not going to start. We all know it's not going to start. Okay. Oops. No, I want to not do moonwalks. I want to remove pan body panels. Thank you very much. Uh, glass. The rear window looks pretty good. Clean actually. Well, those lights are small, hard to find. Anything else sneaking back here? It shouldn't be. Up the door. So that's going to come off now. Pretty much all the internal stuff taken out. Let's get the wheels and the gearbox off next, I guess. Let's start off the back end, work right way forward. Again, of course, um, if you haven't seen this mod, it will leave a link in the description down below so you can have a look at it and have a go on it for yourselves if you want to. It's weird because I get mixed, still get people, some people watch this, some people don't. I get that. Okay, now I'm still going to enjoy playing it. Whilst I still enjoy playing it, I'll still enjoy recording it. Fair few metal mods, so I've got this now. You know, I've got one that's in the pipe work, which looks pretty funny, and I will bring probably bring that in the shop in the next batch, where it'll take up the place of this eventually. Um, once this is fully restored. Um, Brian was saying about the last of Mor Morgan, and he said, "Oh, if you try that tire size." Um, 
it should work. Yeah, I already read that after I'd done the recording, and it was too late by then. It's like, yeah. To be fair, I could have sold it off with the those glitching tiles. Could have got more money out of it that way. But hindsight's a wonderful thing. Come on, now he's gone. That drive shaft looks a bit. Hmm. Yeah, that's not lining up. That'd be flying around like nobody's business in real life. Ripping its way through. The actual chassis and everything. Again, it's the modder's work around. You can't go too harsh on that. This would surprise me. Has this thing not got hubcaps? I might put a different type of wheel on it then if it's not got hubcaps on it. It may not do. I might have some. Hmm. I might put some chrome spokes on it. Don't know. It is a van. You really would have chrome spokes on a van. But it'd be my van. It's not going to get that much used that heavily. She pops. Oh, of course, track rod. Again, some people are enjoying the old uh, PC building simulator as well. This is like the nerdy equivalent of this, really. I think I'm enjoying playing it to be fair. It's a bit of a laugh. Uh, something else I've noticed recently. Um, now, so I've been, it's been out for at least two months, maybe more. Um, it's called Sea of, sea of Thieves. And it's on the. It's mainly Xbox, but you can get it on the Windows 10 site as well, so you can get it for your PC. Um, it looks like a lot of fun, I must admit. It's not something I'd normally play. I, I used to play Ark a lot when I, when I first got that. I spent weeks and weeks and days and days and days and days of playing it. And then I just got sick of it. I got sick of the whole grind of having to... And it's not cheap either. It's like six, nine quid, fifty quid, and it's something. Um, yeah, I know what's going to happen. I'll play it for days, probably play it for a few weeks, and then I'll get sick of it. So it does look like a nice game, and I'd love to play it, but I'm not paying that much money for it. Now, a game some of you guys may be wondering what's gone on with is um, Farm Manager. I'll be playing that towards the end of the week or it's like after Friday um, I'm there for the, there's two reasons one my budget's a bit stretched at the moment and um, two um, I'm leaving it for a couple of days just to see if they work out any big bugs because I've heard there's quite a few bugs in that game and they're seriously game breaking bugs so I want to sort of like eliminate that my plan is to go through the career side of it first before do see everyone's doing like the sandbox is jumping straight into that. I'm planning on doing the career mode of that side of it. I 
Oh, why am I taking this off? Don't need to take this off here. I'll take the white bits off and. So, oh, I just need to take the gearbox out and start. I oh, got. I just went to auto. Auto dis disassemble there. Sorry, peeps. It's like, yeah, just start ripping bits off it. Willy ninny. Oh, please, sir, I can take the. No! Seriously. It's looking a bit sorry for itself now that the front end's all gone. It kind of looks mean. Actually, did I take. There is some glass front windows there. Yeah, so I've got them. All the excitement. Uh, so I need to take. Even though the starter was easier to get from the bottom, you have to take it off from the top. That's going to always be a bone of contention with me. In fact, I have to notice that now. That's not connected to anything. So, yeah. Uh, but again, ignore that. In fact, does this actually have any more in it? But it don't. But I won't take the risk. Especially, just take the risk, because all that's going to happen is going to tell me to drag it all out as soon as I try and take the engine out. So. It was an auction car, so it may have oil. But it didn't have a battery, so beggars the belief of how did we get it back. Well, I guess we'd have had to use the... Um, use the sun. Just to see if it's got any oil. No, I didn't really get the end. We would have had to put it on the back of the low loader, I guess. Right, let's get the engine hoist. Engine hoist. One step ahead of myself there. Brilliant. Right, move engine, please. To get my back pocket, we'll go with the new spin. Cool. Right, uh, so we've got nothing left in this now, have we? Ah, is that the battery? Is that the battery? No, it disappeared. It looks like the battery from here. Yeah, it looks like the battery. It's part of the bodywork. I'm wondering if it's. That's how he gets around it. Anyhow, let's see what the state of it is now. It should have. Ooh, an exhaust section? Question mark. that then. Right. Total value. Just as a basic body. It's not been worked on yet. Yeah, not bad. It's gonna you know and let's see. No, we've not done nothing since the update. I know there's been a couple of updates on this. I think that was more in preparation of the Begon Begondi Begon 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 Got this nice little race car here, it's a Maserati. Looking pretty tasty, that's gonna be appearing after we do the Jag over there. Well, I call it the Jag, it looks like a Jag. Um, why won't you? Cool. Oh wow, we've made a little bit of money. We've 
just spent more than we actually made doing it up. Hee hoo! Never mind, I'm keeping it so it doesn't matter. Um, leave that hoist there. Let's go and throw the wheels, at least one wheel on it. On here. Break one of these. I'll go over here and I'll start repairing what I can. I can't. Okay, I suspect quite a fair amount of that survived. It's good. Let's move that. Utilitarian, but still looks classic. Let's see what we can play. Yeah, they're the Jeep rooms. That's what they are. Um, might give it another type of wheel. I'll definitely think about it. Let's start putting some of the bits on. I'll do the engine repair. screen. Now you haven't seen as many of me doing as many repairs on this but I've done at least one or two um, in the time um, on here. So let's start putting some of the bits back. Let's, start with the front end there. let's try starting with the front end. Oh yeah suspension bits. I'm going to definitely need them on I? The wishbones. Oh that didn't make it. Off to a good start. That made it. Did that make it? Yeah, they made it. I'm gonna need brake pads and all. Is that a sound of ah? A sound of a torque wrench. I'm sure that was the clank of a torque wrench. That would be make sense. Let's see if we hear it again. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Well, let's put the back as we go and put everything else in here on. Yours. This one. Oh, that didn't make it either. Right. Okay, so what suspension unit was that? That was a front suspension type D and the wet sway bar type B main shot so I'm going to need two double wishbone front so then I think I may already have one front spring I'm not entirely sure Bar type B. Two of them. I oh, know we're going to need two of them. Two of them. Um, no, we're going to need two of them. Don't know if we need two of them. Oh, do hold off on that. I think we might. Oh, this is a solid drive axle, wasn't it? We need. And did I buy? I don't think I bought the other bit either. No, I did not. Idiot cam. Uh, 
was type D, wasn't it? Did I hope some of these made it? Yeah. That's quite good. That may drive someone nuts after a while. Though. Of course, their shop is almost knackered. I need to get some brakes as well. I'm pretty sure we definitely. Yeah, we do need some roof. I thought we did. Well, I mean, they'll get brakes. Uh, so, even though I think this would have been drums natively, um, but again, let's not hold against the modder. Two front brake disc vented in it, I suspect. Uh, two back drums, two sets of pads. Oh, I forgot, almost forgot. It's a solid drive axle, isn't it? We need. Um, suspension. Do so two of those. I'm sure it's a solid drive axle. Core spring, it's not. It's leaf spring, isn't it? Spring. Pretty sure it's that. In fact, this doesn't have a brake reservoir on this, did it? Does it even need one? That is the question. I suspect it does, or if I took it out. Got to be down. Should do by rights. Should have a brake reservoir of some sort. Oh, the brake cylinder didn't make it. I don't want to buy one just because I don't need to buy my cylinder. I still call them pistons. Because that's what they are. Bushings in as well, don't forget the Kate Bushings kit. Might as well do them while I'm at it as well. Stick them on. Oh, did the steering rack survive? It did. Nice. So I can start doing the track rods and that on this side. Let me. Ah, hang on a minute. Does it even have track rods? This may not even. Oh, it's on the back end. Again, I have three of them. I don't want to put the wheel on just yet.
Won't put the wheel on just yet. Uh, type B's. We'll get them in a bit. Drives did make it, it's cool. So, brake shoes made it again. Uh, oh, it was that one of these springs didn't make it. It's a shame about that. Uh, phone rang again. Oh, this time I can actually turn my phone to silent. I forget to do that every time I start recording. The problem is I then turn it to silent, forget that I've turned it to silent. All three of them, no. Um And then when someone rings me, it's like, oh, I've been trying to ring you all day. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. My phone's on silent. I do, you know, when it's in my pocket with a load of stuff, I don't necessarily feel it vibrating. Uh, so we need enough leaf spring. Uh, what else do we need? Let's quickly look. We need two rear shock absorber type B's. I don't think I've got any, have I? No, I need two of them. Leaf spring and end link type B's. Which I think I may already have. Hang on, let me just quickly look. I'm sure I bought some recently, accidentally. Oh, then I could be I've used them all up already. So the freight sway bar, I'll put that in. The other one wasn't Mad Nick. No, I didn't. Type B's. So suspension, it is. And link type B's. That's type A. Type B. Two of them, please. And it was rear shock absorber type B. Two of those, please. And I've got a stick. Where's it gone? There you are. The suspension together. I've got four of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I accidentally bought two, didn't I? I'm going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Over the accumulation of parts. Right. One of those. Oh yeah, that's not finished yet. I'll do these cape bushings while I'm around it. Even I've noticed, I've got this weird sporadic way of doing stuff now. This is not like me. Normally I'd do one side, one end, and then work my way forward. I kind of hop around all over the place. It's not the most efficient way of doing stuff. Did I get a leaf spring? No, I didn't, and all the excitement. See what I mean? Um, uh, da, 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 there we go. Dragging on a little bit, so peeps. I oh, will wrap this up as soon as we built this back end. Oh, well, we're out of uh, typical throwing a spanner in the works. Need to get one of them, then I should. Hue bolt. Some people call them horseshoe bolts. Oh, oh, serious. 
the E. Moving it towards the bottom. Forward, yeah. Thank you. Put that down. Ow! Sorry for that. Towards the top here, isn't it? I think. Is it in suspension or is it? Hey, there it is there. Uh, now, hang on, front. Hold the gun here. It's hiding here somewhere. Ah, there we go. On. By the Kate Bushings. Link. Zoink. 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 No wheels. Don't need any wheels on this. Just want the basic chassis with the rolling chassis. Put that in. Doing the rig getting done, isn't it? So we'll take one out and put one in. Get it out. Join parts. Zoink, zoink, zoink. Done. Whoops. Right. Zoink. Done. And. Zoink. Oh yeah, of course it's still in there. Idiot Kev. It's still in here, isn't it? Oh come on. It's my keyboard. Deciding to quit me again. Right. Don't ever buy a wireless keyboard, kids. Just buy if you want one that you need to be fairly far away. Get just a massively long lead. You're probably better off in a long one. I think it's because where my PC is in relation to my keyboard, because it's more or less in front of me. The PC is to my left and down. And when I push, when I rest my legs, my lap, my sorry, my keyboard moves down my legs, and it kind of points away from the PC. But it shouldn't matter because it works better if I'm sitting on my bed, and it does if I'm sitting right on top of it. Strangely enough, but I digress. Um, Let's see what the total value of this is. I don't, I don't know if this comes with. We'll have to see if this has a brake servo on it. I'm sure it would. It should by rights. But anyway, I didn't look. Uh, so with the complete rolling chassis, uh, as far as I know, and I've not forgotten anything, but um, it's looking good. It's just over seven and a half thousand. So, but I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the, this episode. If you did, again, please feel free to like. It helps me a lot. I don't mind you uh, liking. If you didn't like this at all, again, please feel free to dislike. But please let me know why in the comments down below so um, I can improve in the future. And if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, again, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel, and if you want to see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.